getting ready to head to a little gig to um, check out this this club on a rooftop in Wynwood. Got some DJs, got people, got parties. Combine all three, and you got a well, you got a party, I guess. So let's go. Dusty bicycle. This fucking dusty ass bicycle. Holy shit. They've been doing a lot of construction out here, so it gets dusty really easy. Poor thing. Ah, I feel like it's been forever since I rode, and it's only been like a day or two. Just been kind of chilling out, working on little things at home, videos and shit. Which I got a new one that I just put up on FWB, which is a little animation, little animation station of my buddy David shooting a AK-47. Not for real, but for fake. And it looks pretty good. I don't know, for my first time fucking around with something. Oh my god, really? That's it? That's the light? <sighs> what the hell? Did it just like let one car through? Yeah, so the, the video came out pretty good. Um, pretty happy with it to start it's my first time fucking around with after effects so go back and forth a million times between trying to figure out how to work after effects and actually doing the effect i wanted to do which it came out pretty good and it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be it was it was pretty good i gotta be fast for this apparently look at that it just changed and then it's back back to red that's so yeah, link right there, link over here, yeah, I bet you it was going to be a traffic infested night, it's all good, I'm enjoying this, this ride anyway, minus the speed bumps, oh so let me tell you a little story about a girl named Dory, anyway that's not my story, anyway uh, my real story is we just landed up uh, losing that studio in Wynwood and I mean it's not it's not a great big deal but it um it was pretty sad because it was a cool place why are you stopping this is not a stop sign is it it's not I don't know these roads so I wasn't gonna honk at them if I didn't know the owner, douchebag owner, decided he wanted to put some like extra little tiny rules to basically initiate Kyle into a slave. Wanted to put some bullshit rules where he didn't like me going over there to uh, be in the studio and work on things. And, and that was the whole point of that studio was to be able to work on, uh, on films and photography, whatever the fuck kind of little gigs we get. And this guy... Uh, I, I just I don't understand he's one of those he's one of those types of people that is just like really selfish doesn't give a shit about anybody and likes to pretend that he gives a shit about you but really he doesn't at all it's really sad it's really sad meeting people like that because they're just extremely difficult and Kyle went through it for a while and um, and so did Carla you remember Carla She landed up quitting. She was getting paid like pennies. It was probably like $300 a week to, to work like 80 hour weeks or something, something crazy. Which is insane. But um, it wasn't, it wasn't the, about the pay, it was about the way she was being treated. And this, the owner just didn't give a shit about anybody. No matter what Carla would do, it was always bad. Anything that she did was a, a bad move or whatever, and and she could she could work her ass off from like seven o'clock in the morning to like two o'clock in the morning that same day. So like probably like a fucking sixteen-hour shift or something. And he wouldn't he wouldn't even say thank you. He, he wouldn't. He, he's just like, well, I give you a place to stay and. Uh, 
and you get your $300. You should be happy. You should be grateful, motherfucker. That's exactly what he was thinking. I don't get it. I don't get how anybody could be that way. Um, I mean, that's a, that's probably the biggest thing is uh, being respectful towards others. I don't care if you have millions of dollars. I don't care if you're fucking Bruce Willis or like whatever superstar. If you treat me with disrespect, then you ain't getting my respect. 